Hey everyone, so today I wanted to show you guys how to make Sacred Circle Powder. Sacred Circle Powder is a powder that you can use to line out your circle when you're casting a circle, or you can use it as a ritual incense, you can um, burn it while you're doing a, your circle, or you can just have it sitting on your altar for your magical workings to bring in energies, um, it's kind of using a couple different correspondence. So this is a recipe that I like to use. You can switch it up and use herbs that you like, um, but these are just what I like. So first off, I have orange peel. Orange peel is super easy to get. Every time you eat an orange, just save your peel and dry it out. Um, orange is good for uplifting energy and bringing in positive energy. Next, I have some sage that I dried out myself. It's been laying around. Um, sage is great for purification and protection, so it's always great to add it to anything when you're doing spells or rituals. Now I have lavender. I love lavender. I add it to almost everything. It's a very, to me, a very powerful herb. Um, I use it for anything I'm doing, but especially spell crafting or protection if I need it. <clears throat> and it really packs a punch. I actually line my circle out with um, sprigs of lavender and sage bundles like this to actually outline my circle in between my candles. So those are the two herbs that I use mainly. Um, I'm going to be using some eye bright. Eye bright is good for increasing your psychic vision, um, making yourself become more alert, um, giving you better eyesight or vision into situations that you don't or that you're not seeing clearly if you're not seeing clearly on a situation and you need to see more clearly. Um, we have some sea salt, just my regular sea salt. Um, you add that for purification as well. You can use sea salt for anything that you want to cleanse or keep pure. Red sandalwood, I love the color and the smell of red sandalwood. Um, the red really symbolizes fire to me. I'm a fire element, so I wanted to add it in there too. Um, bring in some of that fire element. Then we also have valerian. I have a couple spices in here, but valerian is right there. It's a root. It smells like poop, but it's a really awesome herb. Um, it's so powerful. I love it. And it just really is awesome. So those are the herbs I'm going to be using. I'm going to mix them up all in there. Once they're in powder form, I'm going to store them in a little jar. You can store them in a baggie, anywhere you want. And then I'm going to charge them. I don't like to charge them individually because they're all going to have a certain purpose. I want each herb to really um, have its own power, its own purpose shine through. So I'm not going to worry about charging them individually, but I'm going to charge them all together for a similar purpose. Sorry, I'm chopping up all my stuff. Okay guys, so all my ingredients are coming together. I have been charging them and mixing them up as I go. Um, I've had to take out a few of the bigger sage um, stalks because they get very hard and they're hard to crunch up. If you're having trouble crunching, add more salt because salt is a great grinder and it helps get all of your stuff incorporated. Um, the smell is a very unique scent. It's, it's hard to explain. You can really smell the orange and the sage and the lavender. Um, and then you get subtle hits, uh, hints of the sandalwood and the valerian, which when valerian is mixed, it has a very earthy, rooty smell, almost like a mushroom smell. But some people really hate the smell of it, so you can kind of... Like I said, you can interchange your herbs for whatever purpose. This is one that I'm trying out. I really like the energetic or energizing effects of orange, and I've never really worked with orange peel with this recipe before, so I really wanted to try it out. I love Eyebright for anything that has to do with psychic energy or awareness. Lavender, like I said, I use it in everything. Um, but feel free to add whatever you want. I know a lot of people when they're making their sacred circle powder add eggshells. That's a good idea to use eggshells. I 
kind of get grossed out by cleaning eggshells. I don't even like cooking eggs because they're slimy and I hate slimy things touching me, so I just don't do it. But yeah, you can use eggshells, any herbs that suit you. Um, and like I said, this would make a great altar incense. You can um, set it on your altar to gather positive energy. You can use it as a powder around your house, depending on what purpose you're using. You can use, even use it outdoors to line your circle, your sacred circle, for doing outdoor rituals because, you know, there's nothing in there that's going to be harmful. So anyways, I hope you like my recipe. I have a couple more things to make tonight. Um, but I'm going to make cake. It is like negative five degrees outside without wind chill. It's ridiculous. So anyways, I hope you guys try this recipe, make your own mixtures, and play around with it. Love and light, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.